An outburst in a coal mine normally refers to a sudden and violent ejection of coal and gas from the mining phase as a result of high gas pressure. The gases released normally include either carbon dioxide or methane. Both of these gases are naturally occurring and produced by the coalification process. Coal seams were formed from the decomposition and intensified compression of layers of rotten plant material over millions of years, which over time become buried by subsequent layers of non-carbonous material. This forms the geological strata and sits above the coal seam. As the layers became successively covered, oxidisation was prevented, thus halting the decomposition process. Carbon dioxide and methane gases were generated during the coalification process and contained within the pores of the coal. Carbon dioxide is a compound molecule of carbon and oxygen, and methane is a compound molecule of carbon and hydrogen. Coal is not just a solid rock, it has a complex internal structure full of microscopic pores and fractures. It's an aqueous rock and the gas pressure in the coal is normally relative to the rank of the coal and the hydrostatic pressure of the water confining the gas to the coal. The ability of either the gas or the water to be absorbed or flow through the coal is described as its porosity or its permeability. Over geological time, pressure has built up and compressed the gases deep inside the coal seam. This turns the coal seam into a kind of a pressurised gas reservoir, similar to the pressure inside a champagne bottle. When mining operations extract the coal seam, the pressure balance is disturbed and the gas is released from the coal. There are two ways the gas gets released. Under normal conditions, the gas pressure in the coal is reduced through the desorption and permeability of the gas permeating through the coal to the face or the roadways, creating a gradual pressure profile over a distance of up to 50 metres. Where the gas is unable to desorb through an impermeable barrier, the gas pressure profile increases to the point where it's over a very short distance of up to one to two metres and the gas pressure causes a violent ejection of the coal and the associated gas. Increases in coal seam gas content and pressure may be present in areas of geological disturbance of the coal seam, such as faults or dikes. The fault is normally where there is a disturbance in the coal seam resulting in a seam displacement, and a dike is where the high pressure igneous material has been forced through the coal seam and the surrounding strata. These geological disturbances not only increase the gas content and pressure of the coal, but destroy the normal coal structure which allows the gas to permeate through the coal and reduce the gas pressure. Outburst conditions exist when a gas pressure gradient is created which exceeds the coal or strata tensile strength, resulting in a rapid and violent ejection of the gas and the coal from the face. The finer the particles of coal from the geological disturbance, the greater the rate of desorption of the gas when the coal is ejected and released. For an outburst to occur, there must be a high gas content, a high pressure gradient, and a very small confining barrier present. An analysis of 461 outbursts in the Bulai Seam near Wollongong over a 100 year period found that all of the outbursts involved mining near or through a geological disturbance. Provided a minimum distance was maintained from the structure, an outburst would not occur. The safe barrier from the geological structure varies from between one to two and a half meters in the Bulli Seam. The outburst risk factors include the gas pressure gradient, the tensile strength of the coal or the strata, the gas emission rate, moisture levels, and the depth or stress levels. When the force of the gas pressure is unable to be contained by the coal strength or the strata, there is an outburst. And the rate of desorption of the gas in the coal depends on the coal particle size and its structure. 
the rapid release and expansion of the gas emitted in the outburst rapidly overcomes the mine ventilation system and displaces the air, which is under atmospheric pressure. Whilst the size of an outburst is normally measured in the number of tons of coal ejected in the outburst, by far and away the greatest killer from an outburst is the volume of irrespirable gas which is suddenly ejected into the mine ventilation system. When a gas outburst occurs from the coal, the gas is under pressure. When it's released, it expands to atmospheric pressure and displaces the air in the roadways, normally ventilated with fresh air. When the outburst occurs, the rapid ejection of the coal and gas overcomes the ability for the miners to escape from their workplace. And within seconds, the air is pushed out of the roadways and anyone exposed to the gas cloud is normally asphyxiated. Coal seam drilling, gas sampling and analysis, gas drainage, and outburst threshold limits for outburst prediction and prevention were not effectively and reliably established until the mid-1990s following three separate fatal outbursts in the Bulleye Seam in New South Wales near Wollongong. <laughs>